Good morning. What's good, people? Welcome back to another episode of Kitchen, Kitchen Life. Life. And you here with me, Sufis, and with me, Brian, and together we are Bry Fish. Today's cooking is all about being lazy at home. So you want to just watch TV? Yeah. You can just pop this chicken in the oven. That's it. You get yourself a roasted chicken, and that's the recipe of today. Yes. Garlic. Onions, carrot, potato, whole chicken, sea salt, cayenne, olive oil. I got the carbs, which is the potatoes. Tell you a tip. Okay. You want to peel them before you cook them, yeah. right? You remove the skin. Make sure you put it in the cold water. Okay. So that it doesn't bruise the outside. You have to have onions. Onions. And some carrots. Carrots. We already diced them. Or you can put any mirepoix you want. You can add celery. Or if you want to put thyme, that's optional, it's up to you. Always get yourself a chilled chicken, alright, fresh. You can get them at the market, supermarket, okay. fresh market. What chicken is this? This is ayam kampung. <laughs> ayam kampung, okay. Alright, no, not really ayam kampung. Then what ayam is this? It's just chicken, now, bro. Local no. chicken, now. What's the name? Whole chicken. Okay. Huh? Okay, yeah. What's the name? I don't know what's his name. Ask his, ask his mom la. If you taste about chicken, if you want it to be really moist, you can brine them the night before. Or if you don't want to do nothing, because today it's all about being lazy. Just make sure you don't play with the chicken too much. I'm just gonna salt inside the inside part. Stuff them with half of my just onion. Just half? Yeah, just half of it. Okay. Oh, you want to put one? We can put one. Yeah. Alright. Salt a little bit on the side, the back. I got here cayenne. If you can't get cayenne, pepper. If you think if it's too expensive, don't spend too much. You can just use local chili powder. Uh, if you don't want it, no, you don't have to even put it. You can just switch it to black pepper. You get some oil, just dry rub it. Um, a bit more, fry. Get me some oil, give me some salt too. So I'm just gonna switch it the other way around. Give it a bit a little bit more salt. Can you also throw one garlic in there? Just showing you you can even throw a lemon in it. Uh, if you throw lemon and thyme, it will have the fragrance, it will be a different taste. You want your chicken to be pretty, right? Yeah. When you roast them, yeah. always tuck your wings to the back. It's the butcher string. Yeah. Okay, can you just um I don't need too much. Just want to tie the legs together so it sticks you see here you want to hold that leg uh, you can just do a simple knot wait why, why do we tie the legs again so it look pretty when when it's roasted at least you know it's it's a simple method uh, it's just show that how much you care more about the product remember before you start this recipe always reheat your oven you don't want to wait half an hour later okay. Uh, let your chicken sit around, do nothing. It's ready to go in the oven. You got, but before that, so you wanna just uh, chuck all your vegetables in there. You wanna yeah. cook it. You wanna cook it all inside together. We have onions. We have potatoes in there. You know we have garlic. We got some carrots. Like I said, no effort. Just throw everything in one tray, and then we have our chicken. So. Help yourself! Now the chicken is inside the oven. We need to set it up to 190 degrees Celsius. Okay. And it will cook perfectly at 1 hour and 20 minutes. Make sure when you take out your chicken, you rest it for a while, like 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. That will make it more juicier. Once chicken is cooked, I'm just gonna show you a simple method of how to do gravy. Okay. We don't need to buy any gravy, we don't need to buy all the powdered stuff. We're just gonna do it natural. This is the kind of dish where you just wanna 
stuff everything into the oven and you don't have to think so much. Yeah. You can go and do your things and then like after an hour or so you just come back and check and yeah, when man. it's done you it's all ready to eat. So we got one hour to kill. What should we do? Oh let's clean up. Oh yeah okay. Okay, cheers. Whoa! That looks tight, yo. It's tight. What we can do is I'm just gonna remove the chicken. Okay. For the balance of the juice, you see? On uh, the bottom. Uh-huh. That's the juice part. So we gotta we're gonna chip, turn that to a sauce. So we're gonna rest it there for a while. Okay. Let it rest here. Alrighty, alrighty. Right. Vegetables. Now we got the pan. You see there's some some of the leftover juice inside the pan. Here's what I have here. Is about 50 grams of butter and about 50 grams of flour. We are glazing the pan. We're just gonna put butter in there. Melt some butter. Throw in some flour. Saute the flour a little bit. Just put some. We have chicken stock. Okay. Now come. Now all you gotta do is season it with. Some salt. Salt. Everything is natural. So we got ourselves some gravy. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're done with the gravy. All right, it smells really good. So we're just gonna taste it right now to just double check. You see that? Nice. See a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la república dominicana la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la república and there you have it roast chicken easy roasted chicken simple as that oh yeah it's five ingredients um, and you already have yourself a gravy, you want to on and put a gravy on top? Yes, we'll do that. So, thanks for watching, stay tuned to the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Is that like? Yeah. Peace. Peace. Work on your mother. Cheer.